Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about inserting time value into database in C sharp. So let's start. So first I will click on this, I will expand it a bit and now I'll drag this uh, button down. So I'll drag this one as well as this one and now I'll uh, uh, duplicate this label and uh, I'll click on this I'll go to its properties properties and now I'll change the text on this and I will uh, make this um, admission time so admission time it will become and now we will drag in a date time picker I'll keep it here and uh, now as you can see we have uh, only date in this so we will change uh, it to time but first let me fix this I'll put it here now we are good to go uh, now I'll come to its properties first I will change its name so I'll make this uh, uh, ADM time picker and now we will come here and uh, make its uh, format custom I'll make this uh, custom and now um, I'll go to uh, custom format this one and I'll put a space here so it will remove uh, the mm, uh, time here now if I click uh, I click here now you can see we have nothing here now we will go to our uh, select this and go to our click even and now we will create uh, the value change event so I'll use time underscore value changed and now I'll double click here now let's click event is created so now here I will add the custom format for time so adm picker dot custom format equals now here I will use uh, capital HH and then we will use uh, mm and now I'll put semicolon now we have put semicolon now if I go here to our uh, registration form and now if I run this now it is running so if I click on here and now if I come here now you can see we have a calendar here it is showing a calendar now if I select uh, something it shows the current time this one it shows us the current time in this picker but we will uh, use up down here and uh, when we click mouse here it will show us a time so for that I will close this close this as well and uh, now I will select this and this uh, events I will uh, select mouse down and I uh, will double click on this and uh, now here we will use uh, the same thing uh, ADM uh, time picker dot custom format equals and uh, I'll use here and here I will use HH and then MM and I'll put semicolon here now if I run it again now if I click on this registration form and now if I click here mouse now you can see that a time is shown here now I want to hide this and I want to use uh, up down here so with which we can change this uh, time so for that I will close this come here to registration form it is selected now I'll go to properties and here I will uh, I will show up down and this is false and I will make this uh, true 
now you can see up down is shown here now if I run this and now if I click here search uh, click here and now if I select this on uh, these minutes and if I use this up so I can change this now if I select this and I can change this as well so now this is uh, good now we will create uh, an a column for this in our table so I'll close this I'll come to this and now this is our table this is a CD underscore table so I'll use here uh, admission time and here I'll use this date uh, time and uh, now I'll control is this now it is created so I'll come to this uh, stored procedure and modify this now I'll modify this and now if I come here I'll uh, use uh, at ADM time and it will be date time and now I'll put comma here here we forgot to put comma so I'll put a comma here and now I'll put a comma here and then make this and um, add uh, not at ADM time and uh, here I'll use uh, at the rate uh, ADM time and uh, now I'll execute this now it is successfully completed so now I'll come here again now I'll close this close this as well this this and now I'll close this as well I'll minimize this close and now uh, we will go to our code so I'll double click on this and uh, I'll come down here this is our code so I'll uh, use uh, cmd dot parameters dot add with value and here I'll use uh, at the rate ADM time and here I'll pass in the ADM time picker dot um, uh, value first we will use value and we will see what happens now I'll put semicolon so it is showing an error with the value because this V is I think capital so now it is showing us the value now I'll stop this and now I'll run this so now if I click on this and insert values so ABC and here and DEF and now I'll select this one and uh, this one and here I'll say select this one and uh, here I'll uh, use uh, this time uh, this is perfect and now if I save this now data is successfully inserted now if I go here to this and go to our query and now if I execute this now we go down now you can see that we have a zero we have only date and zero 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 time now if, uh, we will go again to our code and here I'll make, make this dot time not time but dot value dot time of the day now this is perfect now I'll stop this and uh, I'll rerun this so now I'll go here and now I'll use uh, JJJ and uh, I'll use here uh, KKK and now I'll use Python female and um, data bath is this one 
and um, admission time is this one now I'll save this now data successfully inserted now if I close this and now if I go to our database and now if I execute this now if I go down now JJJ only date is inserted now let me fix this so it no it is not the problem with uh, the time but actually it is a problem with the query because we do not have the admission time column here so I'll go here to this uh, table and uh, I'll right click on this I'll close this and select up 1000 rows and now if I see this now you can see that we have time here in the admission time uh, column now you can see it here now if I go down the other values are also here and it is uh, this is uh, the, the time and date we inserted with dot value and this is the time and date that uh, we inserted with uh, this one uh, dot value dot time of the day now you can see that it is also uh, taking the date as 1-1-1900 but it is because we have taken the data type as date time so it will take this now later on in this tutorial series we will learn how we can um, retrieve only time and not this date so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you